Master to Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. It seems he somehow caught wind of this preaching of hers. He's accused her of spreading heresy and had her placed under arrest. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. Jesus Christ. What's going to happen to her? I don't know, Henry. It all depends on the Inquisitor and how he decides. The accusations brought against Johanka are very serious. Well, we must do something. Hmm. Well, you can try talking to Bishop Yaroslav. He can tell you more. As Quiet. a servant of the royal headman, your name ought to carry some weight with him. But watch your step. This matter is entirely in the hands of church law, so you mustn't overestimate your lay authority here. Right. I'll go and see this Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. May God go with you. And thank you, Henry. I'm glad you're standing up for your hanker. If you need anything, do come and see me. Where can I find this Inquisitor? He's staying here in the monastery grounds. His quarters are on the upper floor. What actually happened here? Your hanker told me you went to Ujits? Yeah. What's that got to do with anything? The Inquisitor showed up here not long after you left. Apparently he again. heard about Johanka's preaching somehow. He even observed one of her sermons outside the town in disguise. He had her brought to him and spent a long time trying to discourage her from what she was doing. But then she went out again to preach about her visions outside of town. But before she even started, the Inquisitor turned up with Fabian and the guards. He said... Johanka had ignored his outright ban, and he had her taken away. Then he warned the people there that Johanka was spreading heresy and undermining the church's authority, and forbade them to listen to her. That's all? Didn't you speak to the Inquisitor? Ah, oh, no, actually I didn't. He saw me there listening to her preaching, and I... Uh... I was afraid to come forward and talk to him. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's understandable. Thanks. It sounds pretty serious. It is. I'm afraid it could be very serious indeed. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. What actually happened here? Your hanker told me you went to Ujits? Yeah? What's that got to do with anything? The Inquisitor showed up here not long after you left. Apparently he heard about Johanka's preaching somehow. He even observed one of her sermons outside the town in disguise. He had her brought to him and spent a long time trying to discourage her from what she was sleep. doing. But then she I went out again to preach about her visions outside of town. But before she even started, the Inquisitor turned up with Fabian and the guards. He said... Johanka had ignored his outright ban, and he had her taken away. Then he warned the people there that Johanka was spreading heresy and undermining the church's authority, and forbade them to listen to her. It sounds pretty serious. It is. I'm afraid it could be very serious indeed. What exactly does an Inquisitor do? The Inquisition is a papal institution that deals with heresy. So people don't succumb to charlatans, false prophets and deceptions, and put their faith and their immortal souls in jeopardy. The Inquisitors have all sorts of powers, the kind we here can do very little to stand up to. And what can he do to Yohanka? I'm not entirely sure. These legal issues are very complicated, but he could certainly excommunicate her, and maybe even sentence her to death. Who is this Bishop Yaroslav? I've never heard of him before, but the prior has. He said he's very well learned and the Bishop of Sarepta. Sarepta? Where's that, Moravia? No, it's far, far away, near the Holy Land. He got the title from the Holy Father himself. And this bishop came all the way here from Sar... whatever? Sarepta. But I doubt he's ever been there. 
It used to be a bishopric in the days of the Apostolic Fathers in Venetia, near Israel, but it was ransacked by the Muslims. Now it's just a titular bishopric. And Yaroslav is the titular bishop. Titular bishop? Like he's not a real one? It's, let's say, an honorary title. It refers to a diocese that no longer exists. And since a titular bishop has no diocese to oversee, he can devote himself to handling other very important church affairs, like ordaining other prelates, for example, to maintain succession through the centuries down from the time of Christ and his apostles. Boy, uh... Do you believe Yahanka is really being visited by the Virgin Mary? Well, yes, Henry, I do. The things she says and the way she speaks. She doesn't sound like herself at all. I know she can't read, so where else could she have got it? Frankly, I can't think of any other explanation within the bounds of this world. I can't sleep again with you.
There's nothing to see. Where's your hunker? She's locked up at the rat house. Orders of the bishop. Locked up? For what? For heretical speeches. Run along now. If you want to chat about it, go and talk to that monk who smells like an apothecary shop. He's in a flap about it too. I'll see you later. So, I am... Henry of Scarlet, from the garrison of the Royal Hetman, Sir Radzig Kobila. I've heard a lot about you, my son. I'm pleased to meet you. Bishop Yaroslav, uh, sir, my lord, to what do I owe your interest in my humble self? I was told you survived the massacre in Scarlet's and warned the town bird garrison. You tracked down the raiders of a stud farm in Neuhof, wasn't it? To their hideout in the woods. And then you led Sir Radzig and his armed company there and joined bravely in the skirmish and even killed their notorious leader by your own hand. And I believe you have many other deeds to your name. That's quite remarkable, considering your age, is it not? Well, you're too kind, Monsignor. I'm just trying to do what's right, and what's needed. Quite rightly, too, my son. I expect we'll be hearing more about you. But I assume you didn't come here to exchange pleasantries. Or am I mistaken? No, Monsignor, you're quite right. I'm here about your hunker. Naturally. I'd be quite surprised if it were otherwise. So, tell me what's on your mind. How did you find out about Yanka? Word came to me of what was happening here. That some young girl was claiming to speak for the Blessed Virgin. I traveled here immediately, as my duty demanded, and observed events in Sassau incognito, in order to examine the matter at first hand. I see. Why did you have her imprisoned? Because she broke the promise she made to me and persisted in actions that bear the signs of heresy. And what will happen to Yahanka now? I must weigh the gravity of her transgressions and investigate these alleged visions of hers. I consider it very improbable that she is indeed being visited by the Blessed Virgin. Nevertheless, I cannot at this time rule it out entirely. So you think it could be true? In that case, Johanka hasn't done anything wrong. It's not that straightforward. Even if her visions were real, she was at fault for interpreting them as she saw fit and preaching to the people. So you decide just like that? But you don't even know Johanka? I certainly do not decide just like that. I'm thoroughly examining the entire matter, and you would be well advised not to question my authority. I will call Johanka and the witnesses, question them, and then pronounce a verdict. And if you decide she's guilty, will you have her burned at the stake? Good gracious, no. I have no wish to see her die. As St. Augustine said, heretics should be saved, not put to death. The triumph of the church is their salvation, not their death, even if they deserve it. If I find her guilty of any heresy, she will be punished, 
but the severity of her punishment will depend on her will to repent and make amends. I see. And will there be anyone there to defend you, Hanka? Do you doubt my judgment? I would never be so bold, sir. But surely it would be only just that someone should speak for you, Hanka, about all her good deeds and so forth? Naturally, I will also question those who would speak in her defense. Since you are interceding, I expect you have someone in mind? Yes. Actually, me. As I surmised. But this matter does not directly concern you. Why should I allow you to appear before the court? I serve the royal hetman, and his interests are mine. To see justice done in this province, and to quell unrest. Laudable, no doubt. But bear in mind that Lord Kobola is a secular governor, and this matter is subject to church law, in which he has no jurisdiction. On the other hand, I do acknowledge that you've been quite exemplary in doing your duty, as far as I'm aware. Your concern seems sincere, so I will grant your request. Very well. You will defend Johanka. You may speak in her defense if you so wish, and you may also bring witnesses. I will question any such witnesses, and naturally I shall question Johanka too. Thank you, Monsignor. In that case, I'll need to speak to Johanka first. That won't be possible. It's forbidden by the Inquisition procedure. Until the entire matter is resolved, Johanka can speak only to me and no one else. But I have to talk to her. How can I defend her otherwise? No. You are strictly forbidden to speak with her. I have already conceded to something that is quite beyond normal practice. Bear that in mind. I would like to expedite the matter. The trial will take place in Sassau Church in three days' time at the latest. Come and let me know when you're ready to proceed. In the meantime, I will continue my investigation. Very well, Monsignor. I had better get on with it then, sir. Farewell. Before you go, you know Johanka longer than anyone else. You spent a lot of time with her, as I've discovered. Tell me, my son, truthfully, what do you think of this whole affair? About the Virgin Mary? I... I believe the Virgin does visit her. Johanka is honest. She wouldn't lie about such a thing. And the things she says sound truthful and compelling. It really does seem like a heavenly revelation. Who else could it be from? But the Virgin Mary. The origin of these so-called visions of hers must be investigated. But thank you for your candor. Is there anything else you can tell me? Johanka is an honest girl and virtuous. She's a good Christian who attends church and thinks of others. Good. Please continue. She's worried about Matthias. He's from Skalitz too, and she's very fond of him. But he was wounded in a raid on Merhoyed recently, and since then he's been lying in a fever. Johanka believes that if she does what the Blessed Virgin wants of her, Matthias might be healed. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else? Well, before, in Scalitz, Johanka was sort of, well, just a simple village girl. I never imagined I'd hear her talk in the way she does now. She's completely transformed. A simple village girl. I see. Do continue. Johanka helped a lot of people. She worked her fingers to the bone helping Brother Nicodemus with the sick and injured. That is certainly commendable. What else can you tell me about her? That's about all I can tell you. Is that really everything? I have nothing more to add, Monsignor. Very well. Thank you, my son.
One more thing before you go. Let me remind you that it's your Christian duty to report anything suspicious going on concerning the church and the true faith if you're aware of anything of the sort in these parts. If you prove yourself a commendable servant of the church, I would also take that into account in judging Johanka's case. All right, Monsignor. I'll bear that in mind. May the Lord watch over you. <laughs> I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I need something from you, sir. I suppose you heard that Johanka was locked up by the Inquisitor and is facing charges of heresy. I did, and it's most disturbing news. What you might not know is that he's agreed that I can defend her at the trial. You? Do you even know what to say? Sure I know. It'll turn out just fine. Trust me. But I need you to testify at the court. In Johanka's defense, of course. Naturally. 
You don't think I could just sit here and do nothing? Besides, the bishop has already insisted that I appear before the court. Oh. All right. One moment. I apologize if I was a little hasty. This whole affair has left me anxious. I appreciate that you want to defend her. However, I don't think it would have any effect. No offense, but I don't think you'll be able to achieve anything in court. I'm afraid the Inquisitor will judge as he sees fit, whatever anyone says. But I have an idea how you could help. Oh? How's that? Flee. With your hanka, of course. No, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm sure your hanker will be acquitted by the court and everything will be all right. Running would just confirm the Inquisitor's suspicions and she'd always be looking over her shoulder. I don't agree. As I said, I don't believe you can affect the outcome of the court. If your hanker flees, yes, she'll have to lie low for a while, but in time it will all blow over. You can take her anywhere, as long as it's far enough from here. A girl like that will always find her feet. She can easily hide out somewhere where she's not known. Maybe there could even be a place for her on my estate. Think about it. But whatever you decide, if Yohanka comes to any harm, you'll have me to answer to. I'm very fond of her, and her of me, and I don't want anything to happen to her, understand? But if everything ends well, I'll show you my gratitude, I assure you. May the Lord watch over you. Adela, the Inquisitor is going to try Johanka in court. Oh, Lord. I hope she's acquitted. I was absolutely devastated when they took her away. I need people to speak in her defense, and I'd like to ask you to do it. I don't want to go there, really. I'm afraid of that Inquisitor, but you helped me, and so did Johanka. It's only right that I should try and help her. What am I supposed to say there? I'm just a simple village girl. I don't know anything about these things. That doesn't matter. You just be yourself. It should be enough to talk about all the good Johanka does here and how she helps others. I'll send for you if you're needed. All right. Thanks a lot. Brother Nicodemus. You've heard something? The Inquisitor has decided that Yohanka will be tried, but he's agreed that I can defend her. That's really quite unusual. It must mean he hasn't come to a clear conclusion yet. Yes. I'll get her out of it. I'm afraid it may not be that easy. The thing is, I expect Yohanka will say the same things before the court that she's been preaching. What are you saying? Well, I've been thinking about what she's been saying, and it seems to me her preaching has a certain progression. Are you acquainted with the notion of the three orders of man? Not really, no. It's like this. It's said that everyone has their God-given place and purpose on earth. Laboratores, Oratores, and Bellatores. Those who work, those who pray, and those who fight. The common folk are born to work, to reap the fruits of the earth, and to obey the laws of God and man. It is the purpose of the nobles to protect the people and the church against all dangers, and to maintain peace and justice on earth. And the church, in turn, has the task of caring for the spiritual welfare of all, ensuring the salvation of their souls, and bringing solace to the people in times of hardship, so that they can endure their earthly trials and enter the kingdom of heaven. But what's all that got to do with Yohanka? Well, I noticed in her first sermon she primarily addressed the concerns of the common folk, and in the second 
she criticized the nobility. I suppose so, but I still don't get it. In short, I'm afraid that now she might start talking about the church if she gets the chance. And if she's as critical as she was about the lords, I dread to think Quiet. how that might end up. Henry, you must warn her against that. She must show humility before the Inquisitor, and the wisest course would be to admit to being wrong. She's rather stubborn, but perhaps she'll listen to you. But the Inquisitor said no one's allowed to see her. No one except the Inquisitor's own men. You'll just have to think something up. I'm afraid your hanker's fate is mainly in your hands now. I'm relying on you. Take care. <laughs> Witnesses can be summoned for Yahanka's trial. So, I wanted to ask you if you'd give a testimony. Maybe some learned speech in her defence? I'd be glad to do it. Yohanka deserves my help. Such Quiet. testimonies could carry a lot of weight. You should try and get as many as you can. See you later.
One ale over here, please. Goodman Pavel, you're still here. That's a relief. I was afraid I'd miss you. Yes, yes, still here, but not for long. I had some business to deal with, but now that's out of the way and I'm getting ready to leave. What was it you wanted? You might have heard that Yohanka was arrested by the Inquisitor and is facing trial. Indeed, word has reached me. Poor girl. I'd like to ask you to speak to the court in Johanka's defense. Of course, Henry. You have my word. And the word of a burger of Colleen ought to mean something. But to speak in defense of someone accused of heresy is no small matter. What do you want me to say? The same like thing to you told me. That it was a sacred sign that you happened to be nearby when Johanka was speaking, and so on. True. I'll tell the bishop that. You can rest assured. Thank you very much. Please wait here a few more days for the court to convene, then I'll send for you. All right. For your hanker's sake, I'll wait. Take care. God save Henry. Well, how did it go with that husband of mine? Well, we sat down and talked, and in the end I talked him out of playing dice. Did you? Mother of God, that's wonderful news. How on earth did you do it? That's a matter between us men. I don't much like the sound of that. But if he's really quit playing, as you say, all right. Thank you very much, Henry. I'll never forget you for this. Or your honker, either. But he has got the money for the cloth, hasn't he? Yeah. I gave it back to him so he can buy what he needs. That's wonderful. Thank you, Henry. I need your help with something. I'm sure you've heard. Your hanker was locked up by the Inquisitor. Who hasn't? The whole of Sasso is talking about it. And the Inquisitor was asking around about her. I'd like to ask you to appear before the court and say something in your hanker's defense. I can't say I'm keen on going there. But your hanker helped me. And you did too. I think it's only right that someone should say something good about her. Ah, thanks, Guta. I appreciate it. I'll send for you when it's time.
Father, the Inquisitor has had Yahanka thrown in jail. I know, son. He's planning a hearing. Rightly so. It's about time this whole matter was dealt with. What do you think about it, then? As I say, it's a good thing that the matter is being investigated. The things Johanka has been preaching are, to say the least, disturbing. Who knows what these dreams are that she speaks of? And her words are only putting ideas in people's heads and leading them astray. Now instead of going to church, as they should, they go to her in the false belief that they will find solace. It's creating a chasm between the people and the church and leading them away from the true teaching left to us by Christ. They're misguided and swamped in heretical ideas. But Johanka is only saying what the Virgin Mary has told her. What can be wrong with that? And how do you know the Virgin is really talking to her? Well, I believe she's telling the truth. Ah, but you can't be sure, can you? Do you really think a girl from the stable knows God's teaching better than the church? Better than the generations of church fathers and, and learned scholars since the time of Christ, who have studied the sacred scriptures and their correct interpretation? With all the evil that's already going on in this province, the last thing people need is a false prophet. Christ also came from a stable, though. There's no comparison. Christ was the Son of God. Enough of this. Bishop Yaroslav asked me to present my suspicions before the court, and that's what I intend to do. He will then resolve the whole matter. He is, after all, more qualified than anyone to do so. If you say so, Father. God be with you. Hey, clear off. No one's allowed to talk to your hunker. Bishop Yaroslav's orders. I know. I was just testing you. And you passed. I'm with the bishop's entourage, and I'm here at his command. Let me in to talk to your hunker. In that case, you surely know that everyone who comes from the bishop has to show a document to prove it. Good, good. Your diligence is commendable. I don't have the document on me at present, though. I left it at the monastery. Sorry, sir. We'll have to go and get it. I can't let you in otherwise. I wouldn't want to anger the Monsignor. Of course. And you can actually read, can you? A little, sir, yes. That's why they put me here. Very wise. You're clearly the right man for the job. Very well. I'll be back soon with that paper. God be with you.
I want to talk about Johanka. All right. I apologize. I didn't know that. I'll be going. Go then. And don't come snooping around here again. Goodbye. I'm glad to see you. God be with you. God grant you health. How may I help you? I only got two hands. There's still something I'd like to speak to you about. What's on your mind? Thanks. I'll be on my way then. I'll see you later. Hey.
Master Bailiff, Inquisitor Yaroslav is going to try your hunker. I know. He was here asking questions, too. Oh? What did he want to know? Various things, like how things are here, whether people are honest, whether we observe the fest days, and so forth. And then he asked about your hunker, about what she preaches, whether people come to listen to her and that. He's been talking to a lot of other people in Sasau, too. I even heard that Katra, the swordsmith's wife, invited him to dine with them. That's interesting. Thanks for telling me. Was he just asking questions, or does he want you to testify before the court? Yes. He did ask me to testify, and I'm none too happy about it. I see. And what are you going to say about her? It depends what I'm asked, but there's not much I can say. I don't know your hunker very well. She seems virtuous and self-sacrificing to me. She's never done anything wrong, and no one here ever had a cross word to say about her. Until recently. Maybe some gossip about her and Sir Sebastian. But I've heard similar talk about half the women folk here. Now that's just idle gossip. Johanka is a virtuous girl. True. But then there's that preaching of hers. Folk have been falling out. They're split according to whether they believe your hunker or not. I don't know quite what to think of it myself. But I don't want to jump to conclusions. I'll wait and see what the learned bishop has to say. Couldn't you add something good to your testimony for your hunker? I would, uh, show my gratitude substantially. What? Are you trying to bribe me to commit perjury? The Inquisitor will hear how you're going about defending your hunker. You would accuse an envoy of the Royal Hetman of trying to bribe the Bailiff of Sassau? It seems we just got a bit confused here. No one is bribing anyone, of course. Everyone will behave honorably and speak sincerely. Agreed? Hmm. Agreed. May the Lord watch over you. walking here. Onions, I believe. I'm here about your hunker. You're that fella of hers, are you? What do you want? Uh, no. I'm just a friend of hers. Matthias is her, um, fella. Huh. God knows how many she has. I heard you invited Bishop Yaroslav to come and dine with you? Yes, so what? Bishop Yaroslav is an esteemed visitor to Sasau, and it's only fitting he should be suitably hosted by devout burghers.
And what did you talk about? What we discussed with the Monsignor is none of your business. What have you got against Johanka? Nothing. The question is, what has she got against us? Tell me that. What? She turns up here and tries to tell us how to live our lives, says the Virgin Mary whispers to her in the night. Here, yeah, I'm sure, to a simple village wench. I'd like to know who's really putting those ideas in her head. She's just getting people all worked up, men especially, coming around here with her nonsense. Sasau is a decent, orderly place, I'll have you know. We don't want any trouble here. All this talk about hellfire and the end of the world. God of mercy. No one is interested in what she has to say. All they want is some spectacle. She ought to have thought twice before she started. Not that she wasn't warned. What do you mean, warned? As I said, she was told. Tell me everything you know. I represent the royal hetman, so don't try and keep anything from me. If you must know, some of the fellas want to have it out with her and tell her to stop. No one wants her speeches here. But would she listen? No. The devil possessed her to bring harm to us. So it was you who sent those men? All I wanted was to protect the Sasso folk against her poisonous tongue. And I'll do just that. The Monsignor asked me to testify in court. And I'll tell everything I know there. And I'll do likewise. Farewell. Go. Take care. God's blessings. Goodbye. Bye.